What is going on YouTube? It's your boy Spanko and I'm excited today because we got a fresh haircut which means we're doing another fresh video and today is day five of Dino Week and why is day five really exciting? Because we're gonna take everything we've done this entire week and put it all into one video. What do I mean by that? Is in this week I've showed you guys three different deck profiles for dino the trap dino build the scrap dino build and the otk dino build i've also showed you a combo video as well but i showed you three different dino builds so what we're doing in today's video is we're going to take those three builds and test them out online to show you guys how powerful these decks really can be because i know a lot of comments i get are Hey, do you even play the deck? Bro, how much do you even know about the deck? Guys, Dino is one of my favorite decks of all time, and I know this deck well. And in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how powerful these decks really are. But if you guys do enjoy these videos, make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel for more Yu-Gi-Oh! content just like this one. We upload five days a week here on Spanko. Not just the Dino content. This week was Dino week, but we also do product openings, dual videos, combo videos, all that good stuff. You'll catch it right here on the channel. And it's going to be all sorts of different stuff. So you guys can stay tuned. Make sure you guys are subscribed for all that. Now, I'm really excited to get into to it so with that let's get into some duels i guess all right so we're starting off with trap dino so we want to win the rock paper scissors we just did which is really nice here we're gonna go first of course which is really oh my god this this hand is disgusting oh this hand is so broken three traps okay double the room is not great but we have fossil dig as well as three traps maybe i should have gone fossil dig first because this hand is so good maybe we just go for three hmm now nah, we always go for six now nah, let's go for three let's go for three let's see if he has ash right let's go one two and then the third one will be our underclock taker does he have an ash here this is gonna be interesting if he doesn't ash we can potentially get access okay so now our fossil dig goes through and we're perfectly fine that's okay that's why we go for three that's why you go for three because we have fossil dig and then fossil dig makes it so that it does not matter we're gonna search our ov raptor here of course again this deck you want to play it slow you're not playing to combo off like crazy you're just setting up for follow-up because you have our traps essentially to save you for one more turn to just get you to turn three once you get to turn three you're gonna be winning so here we can actually just straight up add i think a miscellaneous source is probably the best play here let's add our miss because at the end of the day we just want to have this in hand it doesn't matter that we just have ovi on board because we have the daruma cannon and the sanctum which is going to help protect us so let's just set this let's set this uh we'll keep the other daruma cannon just in case he has like a harpies or something like that to destroy our back row so we'll keep this other trap but we have the sanctum here which is really really nice and then we have follow-up for next turn which is also really nice okay so this deck i know goes crazy into its extra deck so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to straight up activate sanctum right now because i feel like i don't want to give him any access to his extra deck at all so we're just going to set up sanctum from the start right or scythe i should say from the start because now he doesn't have access to this and i I know this whole deck essentially relies on getting into its extra deck as fast as possible right so that's kind of the play here scythe is now resolved which is really really cool if he tries to go you know summon some monsters just spam the board and try to attack over we can go the room cannon and then on our next turn we're just gonna go off does he have evenly matched there's no way he has evenly matched right you don't start the game with evenly matched in your game oh my god he has evenly matched that's crazy okay he gets the evenly for what for two sure that's fine we also played around evenly not setting this by the way i guess we can just get rid of our scythe here and our Daruma cannon. I don't think I mean, it doesn't really matter. That's fine. He goes into end phase here, I guess. He can't go into the extra deck regardless, right? Playing around the evenly by keeping this in hand was really good. We have the scythe lock, which is also really good. He's not really doing that much. And depending on what we draw, we may have access to conductor tyrant. Oh, yes. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Again, you want to play with your traps in your turn one, and then your turn three, you just want to pop off. Here, we actually just pop off because we can just get to our baby this is going to get to an archosaur for us oh my god we're going off here all right so let's go activate our miscellaneous and we know he doesn't have a call by the grave or anything so we don't got to worry about that luckily enough we activate the miscellaneous effect for one we get to summon archosaur here and then archosaur gets to pop baby oh my god you guys see the combos this is crazy okay so the nice thing here is what link two actually helps us do we get do we have access by any means to our access code talker not sure if we do we still have a normal summon so i think we do want to special summon our ovi raptor here that's definitely the play yeah yeah that's definitely the play because now we get to summon baby or add baby to our hand we still have a normal summon so that means we can normal summon our baby activate ovi pop baby summon baby we get access to access code as well as conductor here which should be enough for game so we're just going to start off by going our ovi raptor pop this do you see what i mean this deck can still combo you're just not trying to combo on your turn one you're trying to protect yourself with traps on your turn one and then you can combo and go for game on your 
turns two and turns three. So we're gonna summon our giant Rex here. Then we're gonna actually just go into, I think we'll just start off by going into our Phoenix for no effect, but we just wanna get the giant Rex in the graveyard so we can go into Unicorn. So we'll go Phoenix here with this and this. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go into our Unicorn with this and this. I mean, you guys could play this differently as well. Like you don't have to play it this way. You could have gone into Link Karibo first, doesn't really matter. But we're gonna summon our Unicorn here. At this point, I'd be surprised if he doesn't scoop because we have double evolution pill fodder, we have access code, and yeah, we have literally a full board here. This is crazy, like we're winning the game here no matter what. All right guys, see? See what I mean? He was gonna scoop. We have access code talker, we have conductor tyranno, we were winning that game no matter what. All right, so this time we're on Scrap Dino. So we actually want to go first, and we uh, won the die roll. And we opened... Oh, we opened Ite here. All right, let's start off with Prosperity. Honestly, we have the Bestial Druid Worm, which is really nice because it will give us access to, you know, have some kind of hand disruption here. However... I think we need to prosp here, hopefully see a baby or see a misc because we can get to one of these or see an overview raptor because we can get to the missing piece with the fossil dig. I clicked three though, didn't I? All right, I think we're going for three here. Let's go for IP Mascarena and then I guess let's do Pentastag as well. All right, let's see if he has an ash here first of all because we would like to bait out an ash. That would be really good. All right, exactly what I say. So we bait it out an ash, which is fine. So actually what we might do here is we might go baby Sarasaurus because Arco baby is still combo it's just a longer combo but it is still combo right so let's just do it that way we have the druid worm again like i said for more disruption so again i think we're set up we have the conductor as well for our next turn for our follow-up so we're not in a horrible position here so let's go pop the baby activate the baby effect of course to summon our ov raptor and then ov raptor is gonna get to search a miscellaneousaurus which is really nice again we use our normal summon here so we can't search a baby but we search a miscellaneousaurus because what ends up happening is we're gonna use our archosaur as well as our misc to summon another level two baby which is really nice so here we're gonna use misc so at this point we're kind of safe for now i don't believe he has any more hand traps he's already used his ash so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go into our link one our link Karibo, and then we're gonna actually activate our miscellaneousaurus and again if he has bestial monsters in his hand the best part about this is that it doesn't matter misc is not a light or a dark let's banish our archosaur as well we want to keep the baby in the graveyard that's really important to note because what we're gonna want to do is summon another baby out of our deck here because now this gives us access to activating our ov raptor to pop this baby guys you guys are gonna watch a full combo if you guys haven't seen the combo video by the way you guys should definitely check it out it's already up on the channel but in the combo video i show you guys different combos and archosaur plus baby is one of the ways to just full combo your opponent which is insane right so here what we're gonna do is we're gonna activate the baby effect and the baby effect here is actually gonna summon a scrap raptor and then we're gonna activate the scrap raptor here to pop the baby this is really important because you need the scrap raptor effect to get an extra normal summon so to do that you need to pop the baby and then baby here we're gonna summon another baby from our deck just because we need to activate that effect right and then here what we're gonna do is we're gonna go into our scrap wyvern and then this is the nice thing about prosperity right you can control what's getting in and out of your extra deck which is kind of nice because you guys can see even through prosperity we're able to full combo and we're not afraid of you know banishing extra deck cards we need for our combo so here we're gonna pop our scrap raptor of course we're gonna activate our scrap raptors chain link one and then our scrap wyvern as chain link two here because this way it's kind of protecting the scrap raptor again it doesn't really matter that much because he's already used his ash so it's not that big of a deal but here we get to pop another baby which is going to trigger later we're going to search our scrap chimera again this is just the full combo if you guys watch the combo video you guys have seen this combo it's kind of insane so at this point we popped our baby and then we are actually going to go for a giant rex here this is actually just the best play for us because now we have access to summon our scrap chimera here should we go for the dag to play we there's a lot of plays we can go into we can go into a dweller play we can go into a ton of different plays but i think what we're going to do is we're actually just going to go into our dag to play i think the dag to play is the better of the plays right so what we're going to do is we're actually going to go ahead and special summon our dag to right now with our giant rex as well as our scrap chimera we're going to go ahead and summon that and then just for space what we're going to do is we're actually going to go into tornado dragon with these two and then we're going to have that right here because now what's going to happen is going to leave us for two spots those two spots are going to let us summon our conductor as well as our giant rex back so what we'll do is we'll banish one giant rex from our graveyard as well as it doesn't matter we'll just get rid of the scrap chimera 
Chimera. And we have another disruption. Keep that in mind. That's what's crazy about all this. And we're going to activate our Dagda effect, of course, because we use the double evolution pill. So now the Dagda is going to get to set a Scythe for us. So we have the Scythe Tornado Dragon lock right now. And then we're going to get to summon a Conductor Tyranno from our deck. We'll summon in defense position so we don't lose something like Lightning Storm. And then we'll summon the Giant Rex back, which is really nice here. And then what we do now is we're going to go into Apollo. The reason we're going to go into Apollo now is because we want a nice Link 2 monster for our Savage Dragon that's about to come up. So we have an Apollo for two monster negates. Guys, look how crazy this board is. Just look how insane this board is. All right, we're going to go here. Summon in defense position. Again, you don't want to lose the Lightning Storm. Or you don't want to have to use this negate on a Lightning Storm, right? It's an Omni negate, but why would you want to use it, right? So here, we're going to actually just give ourselves a Scrap Wyvern just because it has more attack points. And boom, look at this board. Two card combo, Archosaur plus Baby. We have a Conductor in our hand for a follow up. We have a Druid Worm as Disruption. We have another Disruption for Conductor, that's two. We have two more on Apollo, that's four. We have a fifth on Savage, and we have a Scythe Lock. We're Scythe locking our opponent with five Disruptions on board. Good luck breaking this board. Sure, he's going to Imperm our Savage Dragon here. I don't think that's a big issue, honestly. What we're going to do is just straight up shotgun our Tornado Dragon now. We'll get rid of our Scrap Raptor or OV Raptor, doesn't really matter what, and we'll pop the artifact scythe that's on our board which is insane at this point because now we're going to activate our scythe summon itself back and we're going to scythe lock our opponent sure we lost our savage dragon that's no problem with we're just going to turn this off for now because we can turn our brains off we're literally winning this two monster negates see this is why we play in defense position this is why we play in defense position we lost the apple scythe is already on the board though so it doesn't matter so he's not going to be able to go into the extra deck regardless and th this is why oh my god guys this is a perfect video to show you guys why you play it this way you want to summon the defense obviously the apollo it doesn't matter if you saw you can't summon it in attack or defense okay this kind of sucks I'm gonna, I'm gonna be honest with you this is the one card that's kind of an issue but eventually he's gonna have to play through his mystic mind and we can just play around it unless this is runic he's gonna have to get rid of this eventually so we can just play it slow here Okay, listen, we had to play against the Mystic Mind deck, all right? But the, the, was, the point was not about the Mystic Mind or not about the Mystic Mind. The point is you guys can see how powerful this deck is. And that's the whole point of this video is just to show you guys the three different Dino decks and how powerful they really are. So here, I guess we'll just go straight up and search another OV Raptor. Might as well search an OV Raptor, get cards out of our deck. And then we're just going to pass it off again. It is unfortunate, however, just the fact that we ended up using the Scythe so we couldn't chain our Tornado Dragon to this. And he had the Imperm for this and he had the Lightning Storm. There's a lot of different like situations but he had to have those three cards specifically okay guys i'm not gonna make waste your time but you guys see the point of the deck you guys see how insane the deck is okay mystic mind's a dumb card guys can we get this card banned please like there's no reason why this card should exist look at the oh, oh, watch this are you proud of yourself I'm gonna give him a nice smiley face or her could be a her let's just pass it off here because you guys get the whole point of this you guys can see the combo the guy said i don't know are you proud of yourself yes i am smiley face anyways that was a combo let's get into the next dino deck all right, so this dino build is actually the go second build. So it doesn't matter if we win or lose here, we lost, which is fine because we're gonna give our opponent the chance to go first, which again, doesn't matter because if he goes first, oh, he's actually gonna force us to go first, but that's fine. That's why you play cards like Fenrir and whatnot because even going first, Fenrir is a great card. What we're gonna do is we're gonna activate a terraforming here and then we're gonna get to our lost world. It doesn't matter. Again, you can still kind of combo with this deck going first. Again, with this hand, you can't as much. However, we're still setting up disruptions because we have our Fenrir as a disruption, which is really nice. Our Fenrir is also gonna get to activate to search us another one to our hand which is really cool so we're gonna search a Fenrir here and then we're not even gonna activate the lost world we have the druid worm of disruption as well so let's just pass it off here we have two disruptions with this hand we have a Fenrir disruption we have a druid worm disruption which is fine again you want to go second with this deck right you don't want to go first our opponent won the rock paper scissors and still made us go first it's kind of iffy but whatever it's fine it's not the end of the world we still have two disruptions through this had we opened an Oviraptor raptor or something we would probably have more but it's no problem because again I, the really cool thing about this is i really wanted to show you how powerful this deck is going second but i guess it shows you guys that if you are forced to go first you can still kind of play it's not like the end of the world yes don't get me wrong it's not the greatest board it's not the greatest hand however when it comes back to us we have a lot of gas here right we have a double evolution pill which is going to be live because we have stuff like fenrir and then we have our druid worm as another potential target this is another disruption two big bodies on the board you know depending on what our opponent does here we do have two pretty decent big bodies so we're fine don't stress if you're forced to go first this deck can still play you want to go second but you can still play going first bro we got a youtube video to film can you just can you just hurry it up can we just hurry it up because i'm gonna have to win this for the for the channel so you're gonna featured regardless
All right, guys, I'm gonna be honest. He's wasting our time. Let's just get into the next one. You guys got the point though. You guys got the gist of it. Let's get into the next one. All right, so we're gonna be on going second dino again. That last match I got to show you guys, I showed you guys going first. It's not that bad, even though of course we didn't get to finish it out because of our opponent. But this time we're forced to go first as well, even though we lost the rock, paper, scissors. Guys, I wanna go second with this deck. I don't wanna go first, but we're forced to go first every time. But it's fine, I guess. We opened a two card combo, which is kind of nice. We have fossil dig here as well, which is gonna go through. Interesting. Okay. I was trying to bait out an ash or something here, but I I guess in this situation maybe we just get to our baby yeah i guess maybe we just search a baby cerasaurus here we have our oviraptor and the nice thing about that is if our opponent does have an imperm or a veiler for this then uh, we still have full combo here which is kind of nice the thing is though because we do have access to arco and pill i think what we're actually going to do here is just search a dogaran we want to be able to break our opponent's board whatever he makes so we're actually just going to search a dogaran here just utility because we have our combo already set up in our hand right there's no point of searching more cards that are not going to do much for us so here we're going to do is we're gonna activate the miscellaneous for one we're gonna summon the archosaur from deck which is really nice because it's gonna get to pop our baby sarasaurus which is also really cool and then we get access to pill again you want to go second with this deck you don't want to go first you want to go second but I, I guess i can show you guys that even though this is a built for going second you can still go first and do pretty well with it right so here what we're gonna do is we're actually just gonna special summon our petite pteranodon because okay there's two ways to play it right you can go giant rex and end on conductor plus a rank four or or you can go Petit Pteranodon and end on a Pancratops. Now, what do I think is better? I think Conductor may be actually just the better play here. So we're going to special summon our Petit Pteranodon still. I think we're still going to summon that because we're going to get to pop it with our Oviraptor here to get a Giant Rex, right? So we're going to do that, pop the Petit, and then get to summon our baby back. Our baby is going to now be fodder for our Conductor, which is really nice. So we're going to have fodder for that. Petit is going to get the trigger here, summon our Giant Rex. Again, you can summon your Pancratops here, but I think Giant Rex is actually just the better play and then what we have to do here is we just have to go into our link one link karibo with our archosaur because we need a non-dino engrave right and then here we actually can't go into ip with these two we can go into secure guard now if we want to i don't want to do that actually i guess we can i'd rather have the baby on board because the other play is to use baby and giant rex into ip for another form of disruption but there's nothing in our hand that we're going to want to discard right we want to keep the ash we want to keep this as disruption we want to keep this to break our opponent's board so actually it's just better to go into secure guard here and then here what we can do is we can just go into a dolka i think dolka would be the better play yeah let's go into a dolka i think dolka is more reasonable if we knew what we were playing against we could obviously play it differently but in this situation let's go into a dolka and then let's just go into double evolution pill and then get rid of an archosaur from our graveyard as well as a link rebo in our graveyard to summon a conductor tyranno all right so this is kind of our end board here we have conductor to pop the baby baby's gonna search us follow up we have two monster negates here we potentially could have gone for an ip mascarina but then we lose the baby follow-up and i'd rather have the follow-up because again we have one two disruptions right here a third disruption a fourth and a fifth disruption and then we have a dogran as a board breaker so even though it's a going second deck we still put up kind of five disruptions here which is kind of insane if you ask me i'm gonna be honest with you i think this deck is really cool even as a going second build playing the bistids playing the fenrirs which you guys didn't see the kashashri monsters here but playing the fenrirs would have been a really good card here as well so there's just really so many options with this deck i kind of like how this deck plays out and i'm kind of happy that i get to show you guys that even a going second build can do stuff like this where you're putting up one two three disruptions you have an ash as a fourth you have a druid worm as a fifth and boom so five disruptions plus your dual garanda which is really crazy so it doesn't really matter what kind of board he sets up if he even sets up any kind of board again through double dolka well okay see what i mean if we had known what we're playing up against you kind of can go for stuff like you know tornado dragon so this doesn't happen to you and uh for some reason we keep getting mystic mind in this video why do we keep getting hit with this stupid card why is this card still legal guys i don't understand can someone please tell me why this card is still illegal? But I just wanted to show you guys how cool this is. I don't even know if I want to play through this stuff right now, man. Oh my god. If he drew it off the Upstar Goblin, I'm going to be so mad, by the way. If he drew the Mystic Mind off the Upstar, I'm going to be so mad. Okay, let's see what he does here. I'm just going to see if he summons a monster or if he gets rid of his own Mystic Mind. Oh, we're playing against Mystic Mind. Runic. Bro. So he's going to, what, banish four here? Did he use the banish effect? Yeah, he used the banish effect. All right, so banish four. So he's just going to try to mill me. This is so stupid, man. This is so stupid. All right, wait, 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 wait. Okay, we're not going to play this out. You guys see the point of the deck, though. I just really wanted to make the point, and the point, I think, is there. But I'm going to go back and see the replays. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to surrender. I'm going to save this replay. I want to see if he drew the Mystic Mind off the upstar, because if he did, I'm going to be mad. 
All right, no, no, no. He, he had the Mystic Mind. All right, all right. I'll give it to him. Okay, I'm not, I'm not as mad anymore. I thought I thought he drew into it. That would have been crazy. So that is it for today's video. Guys, okay, Mystic Mind is a stupid card. We get it. We get it. That's why you guys have a side deck, all right? I'm not showing you guys matches, but Mystic Mind is a dumb card. However, you guys saw how these decks performed. I think these decks perform really, really well. The really cool thing about it is all the different variants of the deck can still put up multiple disruptions. I mean, you guys saw the OTK going second build can still put up five disruptions, and then you can still go for the OTK, and then the trap build is really good because you can control the board state and then push for a lot of damage as well and then the scrap dino build we all know how powerful that build is so for that reason i hope you guys enjoyed dino week if you guys did make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel for more Yu-Gi-Oh content just like this one on top of that we're going to be doing a lot more content not just dino related however i think dino week was a really fun week this was the accumulation of all five days put together thank you guys all for being here i had so much love and support from you guys i really mean it from the bottom of my heart thank you guys i appreciate every single one of you we're close to 7500 subscribers i know we can make it happen so thank you guys for watching and with that spanko sign it out peace